So we are continuing where we left off with Rise of Gun. Um, I did a little bit in my off time, just to just to make some money, and see if we see if we can get to a point where we can buy and sell things relatively easily. Um, so I have seven thousand dollars, which means we can do some cleanup, we can do some expansion, we can get some more stuff going. Um, so I need more water. Food's good. Is that yeah, fifteen. So we can we can do another box of food. Tis a rainy day, and uh, last I checked, they don't really like coming on rainy days. So we'll do a water. Now the one you said you had completed the game, uh, got to a point where you felt you were done with it. Can you give me a rough estimate how much more stuff there is for me to do? I know I still have to unlock the um, the, the gun range in the back. And of course I have so much shop to do that I haven't expanded yet. Oh, uh, hmm. Let's put you back here. That's fine. didn't find all the collectibles. That's fair. That's fair. There's there's a lot of them and a lot of world to explore and not all of it is very obvious either. Um, so let's see. Do I have any? I don't have any parts. Alright, that's fair. Um, so I upgraded my weapon shelf to level 3 so that I could sell more weapons. That seems to be the top tier, so that's 5 weapons per shelf. Um, we also have weapon shelf, weapon shelf, Order board, that's my next mission technically. Weapon shelf, weapon shelf, weapon shelf, weapon shelf. Um, we've got the bell, which my understanding of the bell, I think I, I read a description somewhere, I think it's in a tutorial, that the bell just indicates when a customer is here so that you can go out and about while a shop is open. And the security alarm alerts you to someone stealing stuff while you're out and about. So they don't actually prevent stealing or anything like that. Oh, it's a different... Oh, that's this bell. This bell lets you know when someone's in the store. What's this bell do? What's this bell do then? Oh, and I added a, I added a light in the back. I want to add more lights so we can have full light, but... Oh, enter store ready to check out. Got it. Two different bells for different alerts. Um, and then we also have back... Let's see. Hmm. Got real dark. Uh, got real dark, and it's too late to go get a hot dog. That's unfortunate. So let's have some vending machine. Oops. Gross. Alright, uh, so one thing I have been doing is I've been focusing on uh, this shop that we found last time to see if I can get it leveled up. I'm at seller reputation of four. I've just been buying pretty much everything. Um, so that that's cool. So let's do some of that. So these are... most of these are grip and magazine. Grip, uh, grip only, grip and barrel. We need lots of grips. Uh, and then this one is just a butt. So let's buy all of them. So we need seven grips. Um, we need set seven grips. So all of them minus the cheapest one. So that's fine. Uh, we needed is it four magazines, something like that. Not really sure. Um, we needed a handful of barrels. Uh, we need barrels for all but two of them. Uh, we need sights for lots of things. I'm fine buying extra sights because those will always come in handy later. We'll buy all but that cheap one. Um, we need few butts. I don't remember how many butts, so we'll just do some butts. 
And the only thing that's different about this store that I don't I don't like necessarily is that this one is missing the um, the front attachments, the um, silencers and the bayonets and stuff. So I don't I don't necessarily like that this one's missing those things because then we can't really fulfill larger orders or larger gun builds at night. But we can at least build guns. I'm going to build this too. Quick access board allows you to quickly place the necessary parts on it uh, to place it right mouse desired parts. Okay, so we can we can have we can have parts on the board. I don't know how useful that's going to be, but uh, let's do it. Lots of room for, lots of room for gun, more gun. And then we have so many parts here. Okay, so let's let's just put stuff together. Oops, forgot I was in build mode. Accidentally upgraded my workbench. That's fine. That just means my my weapons are worth more. Um, and that is actually as upgrade as that can be. Perfect. Uh, all right, but. Need butt. I need scope. I need a barrel. I need a silencer and a bayonet. So it'd be kind of nice if we could get an upgrade to our tools, like for drilling an assembly, if that can be made faster, that would be nice. Uh, you know what? I think it's time for sleep. Hmm, title indeed. The previous game didn't even have a title. It wasn't available in Twitch, so I couldn't even, I couldn't even do that. Gun. Uh, gun. Ah, these guys don't do barrels. That was my mistake. But twin barrels. It's fine. Way too many barrels. So these are not the most profitable things in the world, but they are the ones that let me upgrade the uh, relationship with that that shop. So we're, we're still making money regardless, just uh, not not as much money as it could be per gun. Hot dog, please. Thank you. So let's finish making gun. I don't think 
think I made, or I don't think I got enough uh, magazines, but we'll see how far we can get. Uh, you know what? While we're here, let's do another gun rack. how guns should be put on there. I think that should be reserved for long guns, but it's okay. Now, I guess I could have the shop open and let people come in and buy stuff while we're doing this. I just gotta be vigilant to the uh, steelies. And in that case, then, buy a security system. So I don't have to be as vigilant with the steelies. Uh, I don't have any more scopey things. Uh, I need more scopey things. I need at least two more scopes. Uh, I have one more grip, so that's fine. Bud, you gonna buy something? Or are you gonna be rude and try to steal it? There you go. Rude. Very rude. The only problem with opening the store when I um, have guns to sell and stuff is uh, can't exactly leave to go get things. Need two scopes. Run. Two scopes. I don't... I don't re recall if I've seen a warrior nun steal. Uh, scopey things. Scopey things. Scopey things. <sighs> Bud. No. Bad. Very rude. Messy. What happened to that, that trash can? What, aren't you supposed to be using that? Dude, stop. God, these people are animals. Okay. More gun. I have more gun to assemble. Oh, nope. Uh, grip. Barrel. Um, four grip. Stealthy shoots. Ah, right. I only get good tips if they if they get addressed quickly. But I get good tips if they are addressed quickly, which is actually really nice money. Like she paid. That was like a fifty something percent tip. I approve. Um, okay, so we need scopey thing. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go with the hand. There we go. I have I have two more guns left. And I am hungry. Ah, we'll wait for you. That was a that was a hundred and fifty percent tip. <laughs> I appreciate the generosity in this wasteland. Alright, we got one more gun. Warrior Nun, do you want it? Nice one. Would appreciate you not bleeding on the floor, but whatever, it's fine. All right, so warrior nun, this guy's gonna get some ammo, and then we're gonna cl close up shop and go do stuff. Lovely. Have a nice day, bud. Get out of here. All y'all get out of here. Um, so I managed to make less than a thousand bucks, but I also spent a lot of money, so I'll call that good. Um, all right, so let's see if we can open up the the this place. What is what is the this place? All right, we got we got gun bits. This is good. Just. Uh, Slap the gun bits on the wall. Got a rotten sandwich, lovely. Oh right, the hungry sleepy time. Hi. Hey, I didn't puke on you this time. Nice. So what else is back here? Uh, we got crap. We got we got mushrooms. We got a, a grill we can't use. We got a really gross rotten steak. We have a gross rotten uh, sandwich. Thousand dollars to take out that trash. Okay. Random spot here. Okay. Interesting. Not entirely sure why I would clean out this. I know. I know that this is supposed to be for the 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 gun ah, range. Right. The build menu. Right. Okay. How much does this cost me? Two hundred and fifty. Residents pay 50 bucks to shoot. Nice. After the construction of the shooting range, buyers will come and shoot with the purchased weapons, paying you money. You can improve the level of the shooting range to increase profits. Okie dokie. Well, let's just, um... Let's just add more slots. Because each one of those slots is people paying 50 bucks to, to shoot. Um, and then 25 bucks upgraded. <laughs> All right then. Neat. Um, so let's let's do more. There we go. We got one of each level. We got the the fifty buck, the seventy-five buck, 
the hundred buck and the hundred and fifty, I think it is. And each one of them has different uh, different targets. Neat. Upgrade those more as I get more money, but time to sleep. Dream nothing. Okay, now we can now we can take a screenshot. I don't know why they're oh, right. Um, so now now we can we can take a screenshot of our of our lovely targeting range. Lovely. But I do, however, need to need to buy gun. So let, let's buy gun. Actually, let's let's wander a bit. Got the Zambonis out there. Got this place. Now there was, I think there was a couple things that I hadn't opened up yet. So let's see if we can find those. I have not seen the Zambonis. So that's towards the garden place. Oh, are those Zambonis up there? Up in that building. They're barely visible, but I see something. Sure, what to make of that? That feels like a nighttime secret, perhaps. I, I don't think I'll remember to come back here and check. Um, but it's past the food mart. Then we had to come up here before, because this leads to here, which leads to these things. And leads to this guy, who had a rough day. Oh, spiky. Hello, mannequin man. Got a part. Yeah, this place looks a little worse for wear. Got another part. Camera. Another part. Someone took it out on the TV. Very rude. collectible. Darlet. Okay. I mean, this looks like a nice place. They got, they got dining set. They've got had a working TV. They've got cots. They got a talking fish. They got, they got exercise to keep, to keep, uh, keep cardio going. This looks like it was a nice place. Shame it didn't last. Okay, um, I really wish I could carry more parts.
Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's make something out of this. Uh, nope, we just need... A bayonet and a scope. Neither of which I have. Okay, let's take you. We got a grip. We got barrel, a butt, so we need two bayonets and two scopes. Else we can buy, um, but scope. I have, I have butt. I think we need scope and barrel. I have, so we need another uh, silencer for that. What's that? I think that's a shotgun. I don't recognize it. Oh, it'll be fine. Alright, so I've spent a lot of money. We need to make money. But also spend more money to buy a hot dog. Sorry in advance. Yeah, I kind of thought it was coming. I'm not entirely sure what the trigger is on that. It seems kind of random. It's not related to me going hungry for long periods. It just seems to be every few hot dogs. Bayonet. Kablam. Scope. Kablam. Every time that bayonet is redonkulous. What did I not finish? It's finished. Is it? No, it's not finished. What, what are we missing? Da ah, that. There we go. Uh, you needed a bayonet. And a scope. butts as I thought it did. Give me butt. Uh, that butt. Nope. Nope. I can have as many butts as I want. But It's a $1,500 gun. I think that might actually be my highest one. Um, it's late-ish, but let's see if we can sell a couple things. Alright, so I still have lots of money. Um, I feel like as soon as I build the order thing, it's going to ask me to make things that I don't necessarily have the parts or capability for. Um, and I'm going to have to start running around to fulfill those orders, or keep a lot of parts on stock. Um, my current practice is not keeping parts on stop, stock wherever I can. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with that. Uh, let's get rid of that. I think that's, yeah, there's another workbench. That'll be nice. Hello! You are looking, uh... Great. Looking great. Have fun.
I left the toilet paper behind. Okay, never mind. Let's let's see about trying to go to the mart. I just want to see if that uh, the spot in the back alley was something night related. The ordering is a pain in the ass. Okay, that's good to know. So what am I supposed to do with this? I feel like this is a thing. But I don't know what it is a thing of. Looks kind of Elder Sign esque. Um, but it's not daytime, it's not nighttime, so it's not time based. But it, I feel like it does something. But I don't know what. Hmm. There's gotta be a secret there. Alright, so so far no one's paying to shoot at my shoot at my thing. And that's a little bit sad. Cause I spent a lot of money on that. Uh let's do sleep, I guess. Nah, we can we can go to nighttime shop and buy up a few things. It'll be fine. Okay, what do we got? Um, we got a lot of stuff. Oh, grumble grumble. Uh, we'll buy some of the higher value things. That's fine. Um, but again, I wasn't paying attention. So we're just gonna buy a few things. And if it, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, that's fine. trying to get my rep up with the dude um, so I don't necessarily need to build the things at night but I would like to buy his stuff at night but I'm almost maxed out rep with him so it's fine <laughs> I was running from a zombie horde but then a unicorn appeared and carried me to safety good old unicorns all right time for our breakfast hot dog so this game is entertaining it's relatively limited in gameplay currently. It's a very, it's a very solid, standard gameplay loop. Um, but I dig it. Probably gonna be done after tonight. But I dig it. Let's make guns. So this is another workshop. Let's let's make it as good as it can be.
bayonet. I do not have bayonet, so I need two bayonets to finish these guys. Just for maximum profits. And we'll buy a few extra just to have them. I'll buy a few of these to have them. Not the greatest price ones, but they'll do. Uh, good scope. Good scope. Nice butt. Decent butt. Okay butt. Oh, not enough money. Oh, I ran out of money. Oh, sweet Jesus. I was buying way too expensive of stuff and I wasn't paying attention. All right, looks like we're finishing guns and opening the shop. I was not paying attention at all. guns on the long shelf. Uh, crack you open, get some people coming in. <laughs> yes, yes, that, that is how guns work. Come on, I just need a battle nun to come in and buy my guns. Nun. Battle Nun just tried to steal a gun. That answers that question, the one. Shame on the Battle Nun, indeed. Uh, tiny Barrel. We need a butt. Oh, fuck's sake. Bud, come back here. Come, come back here. No one's buying anything. They're just trying to steal my shit. Trying to make money here, people. Thanks. I wonder if that's a factor. I wonder if that's a factor of me not paying attention, like not being in the room. Because that's a lot of steal attempts right there. I'm watching you people. I'm, I'm watching you people. related to price of gun but I definitely had a lot of a lot of thefts earlier too but I never really paid attention to what the price of the gun was
Are they actually paying me? I'm assuming they're paying me. Motherfucker! That was two in a row! God, I hate you people! I'm just, just trying to make a buck. Just an honest salesman. It shows up like the vending machine. Okay, so just cash coming in. Got it. Okay. You're coming in. You're coming in. Lovely. I have two guns for sale. You are all welcome to try. Wait. Did he get upset that I didn't have a gun on that specific rack? I think he did. That is unfortunate. Alright, don't steal my shit. I'm going to get a hot dog. Thanks. Oh, and there he goes. Upset. Never gonna sell this bloody gun because people keep trying to steal it. Finally, an honest customer. Appreciate you, bud. Now get the fuck out of my store. All right, so we got we got fifty eight hundred bucks. Doing pretty good considering how much money I've spent on upgrades and whatnot. Uh, it is late-ish. Trying to think if there's anywhere else I haven't explored thoroughly. I think there was another spot where I can open up. Um, there, there was like another spot that I could open up by buying, clearing out the trash. Oh, there are the Zambos. They're just sitting there. They're just having a good time. something to do with that. Is there anything in here? Howdy, Guider. Welcome. How you doing? So it went up there. That was one of the thing the piles of trash to clean up. Alright, let's go take a nap. That 
that's not where my nap is. It's over here. I think you need to make a petition to get better internet at your main location. Uh, is, is it, is it the one? Is he already on it? Is this the one? That's not it. This feels like a thing, but I can't do anything with it. That's Nightman. Ah, here we go. Another little secret hideaway. Right outside of the Zamboni is another collectible. Another collectible. A part. Yes, I played that somewhat recently, actually. It was a great game. I loved it. This is a wrench with a knife tape to it. Molotovs. All sorts of shit. Like, this is a, this is a great place. Ooh. Damn it. Nice. Yeah, me already owning a game is, is pretty expected at this point. Wow, this place has a lot better hiding spaces for all of its gun uh, all of its parts. I'm having to double check places. All right, I think I think we're clear though. There's a lot of stuff in here I would like to have, but can't because it's just decorative. But alas. Okay. So I think that was the last hidden spot that I was able to find. So let's ferry the parts back. Yeah, I really loved Planet of Lana. That was a that was a delightful game. Really liked the world that they built. Bring these out of the shadows so I don't keep having to look for the shadows. Animal well? No, I looked into that. Um, I, I don't know. It looks like one of those uh, difficult Metroidvanias. I, I, I want to like them, but usually the combat is too much for me. Oh, hey, look. Reflectable. It's all puzzles. Those are almost worse, because they're usually really obscure. I remember struggling quite a bit with, um... Oh, the Lovecraftian one. Um... Oh, what was that one called again? I remember it. I had visuals in my head of it. I can't remember what it's called. But that one was very puzzly as well. It doesn't even have a, an attack button. Oh, interesting. So it's purely puzzle difficulty. Okay, so we need a, a butt. And we need a long barrel, which I don't have. Let's go get a hot dog and let's get a long barrel. 
Ah, the last case of Benedict Fox. Yes, that is correct. Um, long barrel. That looks like a long barrel. Um, I need a long barrel that has two attachments on it, and unfortunately we don't get... Uh, I forgot. You can actually look to see what attachments are on it. Okay, that's fine. Two attachments. One attachment. Two attachments. Good, good. Alright, we'll take the melter too. Uh, anything in here I want to take? Take that one. Uh, that one, that one. I think I have a couple butts, but we'll take the expensive butts. A couple grips. Magazine. Hey, I have extra bayonets, but we'll take that one. Thank you, and you. I have not played Edith Finch yet. Um, it's kind of on the very bottom of my to-do list, and not for any particular reason other than it's been out for a long time. So many more games have made it to the top of the list instead. So I think um, one of the main unfortunate things about this game at the moment is like this butt right here. This is the butt that they have determined is going to be the high price butt. So you end up with that butt on everything. Rather than having a nice variety of different weapon types. Um, we do still have a variety of weapon types, but um, the, the variety ends up being a little bit limited. I'm missing a scope. Really? Guess I'm missing a scope. All right, uh, just scope. Yeah, just scope. Okay, let's go get one. Um, I think someone suggested Animal Well recently in the suggestions, but if it's not in there, go ahead and throw it in there. I'll take a look at it again. For some reason, I looked at it and it looked like, um, oh god, what's what's the recent one that has the cute little white animal critter, something rain, um, and that one looked like that was much more difficult than I was capable of, and for some reason, Animal Well just kind of read like that to me. Risk of rain, maybe. Yeah, I think Risk Brain might be it, because that's the little cute little animal critter. And uh, lots of instant death by accidentally touching things. That's a really long gun. Not quite as long as it could be, but definitely long. Alright, uh, gun. That's not a gun. That's also not a gun. Get, give me gun. There we go. Fine, I'll take that barrel, because I keep clicking it. I need grip. 
I need magazine. I need another scope, which I don't have currently. Scope thing. You. Take another one of you. Take you. Let's go sleep. Dream nothing. Alright, as much as I think this is probably going to end up painting me, I think we're going to do the order board. And see if that's something that is going to drive me nuts or not. I, I have a suspicion it will drive me nuts, but we'll do it anyway. Oh, but yeah, I sucks. Me owning a game has no bearing on whether or not I remember it exists or um, whether or not I have played it or anything like that. That's, no. <laughs> Twin sanity uh, maze question mark? I, I have equal question marks for that. Trying to find all your puzzlers. Alright, order board. When customers come to the store, they leave an order. The order consists of different parts of the weapon. You must assemble this weapon after assembling place on the order box. Okay. Do they need to be specifics? Oh god, it looks like they need to be specifics. Oh no. Like, real specifics. Well, no. Alright. Cool. Good to know. Okay. Okay. Um, Alright, so let's do... I have four guns. Let's go ahead and make money. Because I only have 1700 bucks. Uh, attempt to make money, at least. I just need people to come into my shop. How are we doing? Uh, one more... I need water. No one's coming to my damn shop anyway, I might as well get water. But this game definitely has potential for being a longer term enjoyment. Oh, okay, so she comes in and she just puts an order on the board and then waits for me to fulfill it. That's fair. Um, I think for longer term enjoyment, we need other interactable elements. Um, we probably need some ability to carry multiple items. It doesn't need to be a lot, but, you know, maybe an upgradable, um, you know, an upgradable backpack that lets you carry two or three items at a time or something like that. Um, some way to upgrade your tools over time so that, you know, your, your drill works faster, for example. Man, there's a lot of collectibles. I have I have most of them. I think I'm missing three. Alright, let's go check out that order. She wants a naive, a rotting grip, a rapid mag, an infected injector, a telescope, and a sizzle slinger. Thank you. Do I have any of that? I do not. So that had better be worth a lot. I mean, it's worth 1100 so... Yep, 
Yep, I'm looking at my escape menu. Continue, save, settings, main menu. Tab menu. Right, I forgot about that. That has been grayed out for me the whole time. Okay, she's she's upset. <laughs> I was trying to clean her shit. Okay, close that. I was trying to clean her shit and uh, she decided to steal right as I was hitting E and accidentally punched her in the junk. <laughs> Alright. Well, lady, you deserve to get punched in the junk for that. Uh, okay, so let's let's see if we can do any of this shopping. <laughs> A game I don't own? That's... That's impossible. Okay. So, naive. Uh, grip. Uh, grip. Rotting grip. Perfect. Mag. Need the rapid mag. I don't think he has a rapid mag in stock. He does not. Okay. Um, infected injector barrel. I don't see it. Uh, telescope. Which we have. And a sizzle slinger. Now this is where, because it is a... Um, an order, I suspect buying the cheaper parts might be better. Yes, telling me how many I have in stock would be fantastic. Because um, that would be great. Now, I do see multiple grayed out elements. We got workers, we got my shop, library, statistics. So, I mean, at the very start when you open up this game, it straight up says, work in progress. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not shocked that it's missing, not necessarily missing features, it's pretty solid on its own, but it is a low lifetime game in its current state. It's enjoyable in its current state, but it definitely needs more stuff to make it more enjoyable. Um, okay, so let's just buy, let's buy some shit. Um, buy these. Um, wasn't paying attention to what I just bought. God damn. Right, I'll buy, buy more, two more expensive butts. Um, I need a grip. I don't need a grip. I do need a grip. Yes, I, I needed a grip. Um, need barrels. Buy some decent barrels. I have these things, but we'll, you know what, we'll buy these. Those are always worth buying. Um, and then we'll buy that, uh, we'll buy that, we'll buy that. And we'll buy these two, just for the hell of it. But two more grips. Uh, I have butts, I have butts of plenty. Scopes. Now the other tricky bit is for me not to use the parts I need for the thing. <laughs> That's gonna be a trick. Um, I'll have to figure out how I'm gonna do that. I have I have the base gun, so I can start assembling the base gun. And that will keep the parts out of my inventory. So let's grab the this thing, the naive. Put that over here. Um, we also need that grip. Uh, we need Mag I don't have, barrel I don't have, the scope I have. So scope, telescope. So we'll give them the cheaper telescope. Okay. Uh, and then this the sizzle slinger. That which I don't have. Um, magazine I don't have no butt. Does not, she does not want a butt. Um, now, when I put my mouse over these, they do have prices, but they are very even numbered prices. So that almost makes me think these are the defaults. Um, and then the green and red are the over and under prices. So we finally have visibility to what the default prices are of these, these items. Not that I would want to catalog that, but someone with the more catalog y mindset could theoretically do that. Um, so yeah, you know, 
there's that. Uh, gun. Barrel. No, no. Um, let's do... Just simple gun first. These 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 guns are simple. There. Sizzly. That's not a, that's not a sizzly gun. This is a, this is a thing. Do that. Do that. Slap them together. Put them on the thing. Do that. Sizzler. Uh, do a scopey thing. Uh, let's see. I don't have nearly enough scopes for all this. I need at least two more. I don't have money for that, so we'll go get one later. I don't have, I don't have, I don't have time for that. Barrel. That thing. Can't put a blood on it. Ah, uh, scope. Sizzle slinger. Um, okay. Sleep time? No, we can go get, uh, we can go get scopes. I need, I need a few more scopes. I need at least four scopes? No, I have one. Two. I have two scopes. I need two scopes. Let's just finish assembling shit. Um, but barrel Scopey thing. Gun. I'm out of barrels. I don't, I don't have any more barrels. Do I have grip? I have. I have a grip. I have a butt. So I need a barrel. I need two more barrels. So I need three barrels total. I need two more scopes. So let's start with that. Ah, oh, you got crappy scopes. Um, scope. Scope. Crappy scope. Not, not as crappy barrels. I'm almost done with the wrap. I only need to buy six more things from here, I think, because it's ten per. Maybe we'll come back and buy a few more guns. Barrel. That thing. What, do, what am I missing? Grip. I keep forgetting to do the grips. Because they look like they're part of the handgun to me, so I keep forgetting about them.
I should check to see if he has the other things. I didn't even look. Um, so we need... We need a butt. And... Ah! Forgot to have silencers. Perfect. So we still need a butt. Um, and then we need these things. So we still need the barrel and the magazine for this. Let's go look to see if he has those things. I already forgot what I needed for the other gun to complete it. <sighs> My poor brain. Um, okay, so you have... Do not have the infected injector. I'll take that though. Um, rapid mag. Do you have a rapid mag? You have a rapid mag. Cool wrap. I'll take all that. Okay, so we get that. Ether one. Uh, remind me which one that is again. <laughs> I am well aware that my ability to keep all of these games in my head is limited at best. What did I need for that other gun? I don't remember. I need a butt. That's right, I need a butt. Uh, that butt. Sure. Uh, you know what? Let's buy that. Get another butt. And then we'll get a barrel. And we'll grab a new scope. So now this guy is max level two. It's a huge puzzler game. I don't I don't necessarily mind puzzler games. Um, I I just tend to struggle with them because I don't brain good sometimes. And, and to me, it's less, it's less important that it's a puzzler and more important that it is um, of a theme that I enjoy. Okay, I'll sleep. So that's why I ended up playing the, um, the last case of Benedict Fox because it was, it was a Metroidvania that I don't normally do but it is definitely the Lovecraftian theme that I tend to enjoy. So it's kind of half Metroidvania, half puzzly. Stuff that I'm not normally good at, but I enjoyed it. Uh, well, what theme is either one? Because I don't have specific themes I enjoy. I have lots of themes I enjoy. Um, okay, barrel. The barrel's still not here. Okay, having buying a specific barrel for that is gonna be a pain in the ass. <sighs> okay. 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 Well, I need to go sell some st stuff because I have I have little money left. Oh no, kinder. There's not even like 24-hour McDonald's or Taco Bell or something. Sleepy Mountain Town. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate.
Oh, that one. Now I think I know which one you're talking about. Um, I was... I put that on my wish list because I think it looked neat. Um, but also it concerns me. Because it sounded like it was going to be a really heavy, depressing theme. Um, and I, I would have to brace for that. I, I, now, I, now I think I remember which one you're talking about. I'm trying to remember the last one that I played that was heavy and depressing. It was, um... It was a scary game. And it was... Rude. Uh, it was... Oh. God, which one was that? It was about a girl who went to an insane asylum. And it was following her life. Yes, that one kinder. It wasn't an apartment building. It was a an insane asylum. But yes, that one. And it was... It, there was very disturbing moments in that one. There was depression. There was suicide. There was rape. Uh, it, was, it was a heavy game, emotionally. Fuck off. Um, and then a more lighthearted but heavy emotional game was Spiritfarer. Um, still on fairly high on my top list of games. Um, but very emotionally heavy, very emotionally draining. Uh, deals a lot with death and the various ways to cope with it. Um, it was a delightful game, very lighthearted, but also really deep at, at times, but had some fantastic and varied gameplay elements with some great music and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Would recommend if you can deal with death and dying and being sad a lot. <laughs> I actually haven't gone back to that game um, since they added a few new characters and a few new plot lines and stuff. Kind of want to, but at the same time, not sure if I can bring myself to do it. It's a very emotionally taxing game. It really was. Like, I almost broke down and cried at a few points because it was really rough. Braid remaster comes out. You know, I I think I played Braid, or at least part of it, and I remember the time warping mechanics were really screwing with me. And I, I don't I don't think I could do it. Alright, you all can leave. I don't have any more guns for you, so leave. Get out, get out of my shot. I feel like Aha! <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I was gonna come watch you do, but whatever. Um, so I sucks. I feel like that one may not be as bad unless you are dealing with that dementia situation. At which point it may become a lot more bad. <laughs> okay, so we got we got three orders now. Um, but I don't think I want to do that. I'm gonna see if I can complete the existing one, and that's it. Because um, these don't feel like they're worth the time and effort to put together. Town of Light. Yes, that's the one. That's the name of that one. The really depressing and spooky ghost game. Alright, do I, do I, do I want to do any of these? Do you... Not really. 
I mean, I could. All right, let's see if we can put together the middle one. Let's, uh, boom tube, that one. We got those two, we got one of these. Grab you. Uh, made a corkscrew. Which we don't have. And then we need a spring. So I'm missing the grip for this one. Makers of Journey have a new game. Isn't that one a... You know, no, never mind. I don't, I don't, I don't have enough information. Thought I had information. I do not. Alright, uh, we need that corkscrew. So we got that, 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 and that. We just need the corkscrew. So let's slot those together. That's it? Okay. Put, put you up there. Put you up there. In progress. Um, maybe we can try to get the last one? Maybe? I need to buy a hot dog. Oh yeah, that was the one that was like an MMO. I think that's why I immediately stopped looking at it. trigger, so I don't have that. The Falcon. No, I don't even have the base of the gun to work with. So we're not doing the bottom one at the moment. We can buy another telescope, I suppose. Buy more telescope. Um, brute. Don't have a brute. I don't, don't have a brute. Okay, I'll buy a couple of these, though. Still don't have a corkscrew. We'll, we'll check at night because it's about to be night anyway. Um, blaze breaker barrel. Still don't have the infected injector or the brain drainer. All right. Oh, and I'm out. Okay. Uh, Journey was an online co-op. It was just very inconsistently an online co-op. Generally, you were on your own, but every once in a while another player would show up and you would wander around together. There was no, like, direct online co-op. But people would show up and you would kind of, sort of, nod at each other. I'm looking for looking for the corkscrew grip. We've got the croissant, we've got the undead handle, the rusted grip, the rotting grip, the scrap grip, the decay clasp, the zombie slayer, bane grip, but not the one I want. And then we don't have the barrels for the one I want. Still missing that one, still missing that one. I don't have a trigger yet. Okay, yep, I don't like this part. Two barrels have the same name. Well, good thing I'm going mostly on visuals. Because, um, yeah, that would that'd be bad. I already played Flower. I played through quite a bit of Flower, actually. Um, in fact, I beat the game, now that I'm thinking back on it, but that was back on... PlayStation and not on Steam. 
but yeah, I went, I went through that whole game. That was, that was delightful. It was nice and chill, as you said. Flow, on the other hand, by the same company, was less chill, and I struggled greatly with that one. I woke up in a strange room and realized I was inside a video game. Nice. Alright, uh, let's go shop for parts. First off, trigger. Trigger. Good. Um, second off, corkscrew. Love it. It was an expensive version of it, but, you know, it'll do. Do we have the brute? We have rusted. We do not have the brute. I didn't remember to look at the brute last night. Okay. Um, so we got everything to put this together except for the barrel and the butt, which is, you know, the important parts. Um, what do we got here? We got... The Brain Drainer. So we have the barrel for this one. And we do not have the Infected Injector. So that's cool. So we got everything but the butt for this bottom one. So we'll go ahead and slap that together. Abzu was good. I don't remember much about it, but I remember it being pretty chill. Uh, the amount of hunger that you burn through in this game is insane. Um, I mean, in fairness, I'm buying one to two hot dogs a day, which is about right for hot dog consumption. Uh, but it still feels like it goes really quick. Uh, Alright, so trigger. Uh, we need... Brain Drainer. We need the Blaze Breaker. Oh, I don't have a Blaze Breaker. I'm gonna go get one of those. Uh, telescope. I need a cheap telescope. That one's a cheaper telescope. Uh, I thought I had the thing. Um, so we got a corkscrew grip for this one. For this one. I think that actually. Does that finalize it? We got the spring, corkscrew. Got the maxi bolt, boom tube, and that—it's that, done. We finished one. So 451, and uh, the actual order is for 512. So we're making total bank on that one. <laughs> oh sweet Jesus, missions. <laughs> missions. Uh, I just did like a whole bunch of them. Okay, uh, so brain drainer we got. Uh, we need we need the brute butt. Um, so we'll go look for the infected injector and the brute butt again because we just we cleared those out so they should do something. It was kind of like the thirst in Planet Crafter. Um, it was very quick. Ruin. The, the, the ruined butt. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, right. Brain drainer! No, I don't need that one. Fuck. I need infected injector. Yes. Yes. Finally. Finally. Infected injector. Okay. Yeah. Buh. Yeah. Grip. Buh, buh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this one's worth 112, and I'm making 111. Er, uh, I'm, ma I'm making 100, 100 extra bucks off of it. Great.
You know, that's actually one of the main things that stopped me from playing Brothers, because I always kind of thought you might be able to get away with playing it solo, but uh, it's one of those duo-only games. Okay. Okay. Well, I still need a butt for this one. Um, it's a brute butt. I need, I need a brute butt, but we don't have a brute butt. But, it's fine. Um, because I've completed two of the quests. Fruit butt, never mind. Fuck it. I do like that they refresh their stock multiple times a day. Um, it might even be just as soon as you leave and come back again. I haven't really paid that much attention. Fruit butt. Okay. Uh, so you need a blaze breaker. Which again, I forgot to get. But we've got the brain drainer. We've got the telescope. Got the blaze break, or we got the we got the brute butt, we got the trigger body, so I need that blaze breaker. Blaze breaker. I guess we're paying a lot of money for a blaze breaker. Because I don't want to have to try to shop for better parts. So there's an interesting balance in this game that I'm not sure was even considered when they were designing it but you have to balance buying expensive parts to resell for more money and buying cheap parts to have available to complete contracts cheaply so this gun I spent 200 or $120 more than I should have to build it probably because of that sizzle So that was a loss. So that's cool. All right, um, clear out the trash in the hall. Let's just let's just do that. I have I have money. Nope. 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 Done. Uh, build all weapon racks. Mm, okay. 200 bucks a pop, why not? Congrats, you are the best gunsmith. Thanks for playing. Hooray, I'm the best gunsmith. Ding. Ding. You don't actually build anything there. <laughs> there's, there's nothing there to build. It's just, it's just there. Okay. So I have won the game. I mean, there's, there's still more things to do. Um, there's a couple collectibles, I think. There's money making. Um, I think I'm only missing two or three collectibles. I don't remember for sure. Does this does this thing tell me? It does not. Does it tell me in here anywhere? It does not. Uh, last I remember collecting a collectible, it said something like 13 out of 16 or something like that. I think I'm missing two or three. I don't remember for sure. But all I have left to do really is um, upgrade all of my things which all back here is all upgraded um, upgrade all the things is mostly just all of the, the weapon shelves and the rest of the gun racks get some lights built there we go uh, I'll build the lights in here so yeah I'm done with this game at least until there are significant updates. It was enjoyable, but we are done with it. We have, we have cleared it. It's done. So that was Rise of Gun. It was enjoyable. Nice process. Uh, nice little shop management game in the uh, zombie apocalypse. And I do hope that they continue developing it and add more uh, enjoyable features. So till then, we're setting this one aside. Um, no, you can't fix the windows. You can only fix the windows by unboarding them, which makes it easier for people to steal my stuff. 
I can't imagine upgrading all of these. Each one of these would be able to hold five guns and going through the process of filling all of the shelves with guns. Because that's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's twelve racks. So that's sixty guns. It would take me days to build enough guns. You're talking about these ones? I'm pretty sure these are only five each. Oh, are you talking about these ones? Oh, I don't know about those ones. Those might be more. Oh, yeah, plus six slots. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Those are big. Those are big. Um, so, more than 60 guns. That's nuts. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. At least not without some sort of assistance, which doesn't exist in the game yet. Oh, yeah, good times. Good times tonight. Um, we, we, we did the, the, the crime simulator prologue as far as I dared to, um, and then we finished off Rise of Gun. So, productive night. Yeah, without a reason to fill it is the bigger part there, yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. But we're done. I'm done. I'm done. We're done. We're done. Um, going to bed. Good times. We will save just in case, but we'll probably have to start over by the time there's more updates anyway. Um, but yeah. The one. Kinder. I sucks. Thanks for hanging out and chatting it up. Appreciate it. Anyone else who is still lurking out there, thank y'all for being there. And uh, tomorrow I'll have to figure out what I'm playing since I just ticked off two things on my list. But we'll figure it out. Goodbye.